Hey guys, I made abstract 3D wooden vases. These vases are so unique and can be used as lighting on its own and also for vases for your flowers. I really love this project and I'd like to share with you guys how I made them. Now let's go ahead and get started. What I did was to take this tower game blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is a foam board that I had already covered with contact paper a long time ago. I think I got it from Family Dollar, but they do sell them in the Dollar Tree. Now the next thing that I did was to cut out a round board using the shape of the lighting that I'll be using. And then I used a double-sided tape at the back of the board to put it on the board that has been covered with contact paper. And I'll be using two boards because I'll be making two faces. Now these are the towered blocks that I'm going to be using to form the vase shape on top of the board. In order for the lines to be straight, I'm going to be using a ruler. I also use the ruler to gauge it and keep it down as I will be gluing on the blocks to the board. Instead of doing this, you can also just use the ruler to draw out the shapes of the vases on the board and then glue on the blocks to the lines that you've drawn on the board. After that, I glued on another set of blocks on top of the first set. I glued on another set. So that's three sets of blocks that I used as the base for the vase. Wow, check out the rhyme, the base for the vase. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to put in the push light to see if the height is okay. And yes, the height is fine. So I took some of the blocks and spray painted them gold. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the middle. But then as you're gonna be gluing it, you would have to tilt it to the side. I made sure that I tilted the ones that I spray painted gold just a little bit at a certain angle and I did that throughout for the middle part of the 3D vase. Now all I'm doing here is gluing on the remaining blocks and just following it and making a certain pattern so that I can have openings in the middle for light to reflect from the inside. I wanted it to look like this and I left it this way and now you can use a popsicle stick with E6000 and carefully just follow all the lines inside just to make sure that it comes out strong and I repeated the same step for the longer vase. I glued these hooks at the back to mount it on a wall and then these push lights come with its own adhesive backing that you can use for the lighting to neatly install it. And this is what it looks like. What I wanted earlier was to just put wood on the wooden contact paper to make it look like it's wood on wood. But then I decided to just use gold in the middle just to give it a little bit of color. And I really love the way this turned out. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this awesome 3D abstract wall decor and remember to like and share. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.